Hey bunny family, welcome back to Live Your Bunniest Life. Today I'm doing a plan with me where we're going to go through and plan next week's schoolwork. So first, I'm going to take my weekly planner. I have the well, well planned day on the go planner. I'll need to switch it to next week. Let me move some of these books out of the way. First I go through and I plan out the stuff that I know is going to happen. So Monday we have P.E. Yay! Tuesday we have speech. Wednesday we won't have anything yet. Thursday we'll have P.E. And Friday we go to work. Okay, so now I go through and I go to my monthly. Okay. And I go through and I put what I have for dinner down on my monthly menu, which is a little messier, but that's okay. So then I can go to my other well-planned day, and this one, I put the dinner menus on it again just so I can glance at it, if they ask what we're having for dinner during school. Cause yum, dinner. So then I can go to my shopping list. Which, if you haven't seen the well-planned day, that each month comes with this page of cute little shopping lists that you can just tear out. And I really like it. I think it's adorable. And I can go through and make the grocery list that we'll need. Oh, that's not the order I do it in. I write it over here so that I can put it on this list in order of the store. Because I don't like walking back and forth. I know, it's not really... Okay. So now we can take this little list. Do we need anything like toothpaste? I don't believe we I do. I think we're good on everything in the bathroom. That's our list for the grocery store tomorrow. So then I'm ready with that. And I should be all done with this little book. Until anything else comes up that I need to add to it. So now the big book is a school book. It is the Well-Planned Day Homeschool Planner. So in it, I have to go through and write out the work that we're going to do. I kind of ignore the um, everyday work because we do it every day and it's not as important for me to write it down. It's ingrained into our brains. So. I have too many notebooks here. I gotta get... My computer's being super slow, just for fun. <laughs> Were you young when you said that? <laughs> well, while that's trying to pull up, I also need to print out their worksheets from The Good and the Beautiful. So, we'll go over here to Pretty Paints worksheets. It's already pulled up. We'll be on week three. So let's see. So over the course of the week, she'll have the Once and Future King, chapter two. And I looked earlier today, and it's ten pages long. So if we just read two pages a day. Okay. She will have the Birth of Britain. Chapter 3, which was also 10 pages. So we're just going to be reading everything every day. We have Beowulf Part 8 through... We have Age of Chivalry. Let's see. Chapter 2. All of Chapter 2. I didn't see how long that was, so we're going to divide that over two days. 
Whatever Happened to Penny Candy. We have two chapters. So let's do them on Tuesday and Thursday. Because I don't have them in here yet. Okay. Our Mother Tongue. We have two lessons this week. So we'll do them Wednesday and Friday. The Fallacy Detective. Let's see, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we'll do it on Tuesday. And that is all of her individual work. Not counting Latin that we just divide by the chapter and things like that. This is only the only the things that only she had. It is divided funny. And then we have all of their individual work. I'll have to look up science real quick, but so far this is a look at what our D's look like, except for the things that we just know to do, like the signing and the Bible, math. I don't assign actual chapters in those. We just move on to the next chapter. So let me pull up our science and see what we'll need to do. My biggest complaint about the online books is they don't hold your place, so every time you have to go searching for the week you're on. It gets tiring. Okay, so that is all for the planning in this book. So next, I prepare their notebooks, which I can't do until I get more paper in the printer. And when I go through each week and get out the old week, I take any pages that they might want to keep and put them in a separate folder. And any papers that we don't need can go to recycling. Alright. So we'll print those. And we'll get her history ready while we wait. And her history notebook is where I put the papers that she might want to keep. Or in this case, a few of them still need graded. So I'll have to go through and do that later tonight. And that's pretty much all I do. I go through each person's notebook and I add the papers that'll be printing. And I get them all ready for the week. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how we prepare for the week ahead of time to get everything ready. And I hope you come back for more videos. Let me know if you like homeschool videos and we'll make sure to do some more. Don't forget to live your bunniest life. Bye!